hate this so much. <laughs> Here, dripping. Well, hello, moguls. Welcome back to Clever Style. You can't tell we're in London. We're gonna work on her accent. Yeah. Don't even worry, you guys. What? But she's right. We are at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal in Studios, London. and we are here because we're gonna be trying the ten best and worst Harry Potter World holiday treats. Yes, if you guys have been watching us, you know we love Harry love, Potter. Love Sinead school. and I tried Harry Potter cocktails in New York. Lauren is the queen of Harry Potter content on Clever. Wait till father hears about this. What are we gonna use to rate the food? Well, we use emojis as like we do in our fashion videos. So I was thinking we should do the broomstick emoji. Okay. You know, yeah, we like could it. do the lightning bolt, but it's so overused. You know, I'm feeling sticky. Obviously, we had to start our Harry Potter journey with the classic butter beer. Mm. Yes, and we all waited to drink it at the same time. Yeah, what happened to yours, Lauren? I don't know! It must have been a mugger. You can get butter beer hot or cold. Unfortunately, they were out of the hot, which is more seasonal, so we mm. opted for the cold because obviously we can't not try it. Yeah, also, it's California and it's like 75 degrees out, so like <laughs> yeah. I'm totally fine with eating a cold butter beer. You drink it! Drinking. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. I'm telling you right now, I think it's so delicious. It's like cream soda, like root beer -y flavor yeah. soda, but whatever they've got going on in this foam, it's Honestly, like Honestly, of all the foods and everything in the Harry Potter book, butter beer is the one thing we just never knew what it was. Yeah. So to be able to drink it, also, it is like, so cool. There had to be like people who decided like, let's just make it what it is. Let's put root beer with some butterscotch yeah. and then some magic in it and then you get this. I would have to give this five root sticks. Like to me, it's like the perfect treat at Universal. I'm giving it four because of the, like you were saying, like it's so cool that we actually get to try it after reading about it all mm -hmm. these years, but I'm just not a sweet tooth person. I think I'm going to take away one root stick because what? we're out of the hot butter beer. What? And I really wanted a hot Dinner. We got roasted turkey and gravy, sourdough stuffing, which sounds amazing, Brussels sprouts, I can smell those, roasted carrots, and a bacon wrapped sausage because why not? It smells delicious, I have it to say. It smells really good, and I'm yeah. also into the sourdough stuffing angle. Yeah, and there's this nice little sauce. I wonder if it's like cranberry. Oh, yeah, it's cranberry. Oh, Ooh. cranberry. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the turkey and then a little bit of everything on it, I think. So, like the gravy. Okay. That's actually better than. I'm surprised that that tastes good. This is so good. Like the turkey is moist. I was try I'm trying to think of another because I know how much people hate that. But yes, it's moist. The gravy's amazing. Oh my god, the stuffing is like butter. Like butter. Bacon doesn't look as crisp as I like my bacon. I like my bacon basically burnt off. Yeah, that's just a lot of fat wrapped around. I think that's fat. how they cook them though. Turkey good, stuffing good. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts taste like Brussels sprouts. Bacon wrap sausage. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a four because I'm pleasantly surprised that you can get something like this at a theme park and it tastes very fresh. And this is on their seasonal menu, so it'd be fun to get around the holidays. I give it three because the Brussels sprouts, listen, I'm a Pinterest queen, but there are so many cool, interesting, unique ways to make a Brussels sprout, and none of that is happening here. The carrots I could do without, it's just kind of in the way. I don't love the sausage. So I just feel like I can't, I gotta reserve my broomsticks for other things coming. Our next item is Felix Felicis. And if you guys are fans of Harry Potter, you know that Professor Slughorn gave this to Harry. Well, he won it really in that potions making class. And then he uses it to get information from Slughorn about Tom Riddle. How do you feel? Excellent. Cheers. Oh, it's like, it's syrup, it's like honey. Oh, it's like ginger honey. Wow. No, no, I'm, uh, no. I've never seen them sell this before, so I love it for the nostalgia Ooh. factor, but it's gross. <laughs> I'm gonna give it two broomsticks. It gives, it gives me like the full body shakes, like, cause it's like so, so sweet. sweet. You're gonna go in a diabetic coma. <laughs> I don't hate it though, so I think I have to give right in the middle like a three. Cause like I'm still I'm still inclined to drink it. No. But I don't know what it makes me feel. If I'm not just going on like taste, right? I think this is so fun, so unique. You have to go to Harry Potter World and buy this. Whether or not you drink it doesn't matter. Take it home. It's a little collectible. It looks like a little ornament. I think this is like a three broomsticks. Because it's so cute, it's so it's so 
small, why not go get it and just have it? Like, this yeah. is so fun. Yeah. We got cavity, so you don't have to. <laughs> little treat is a cheesy toasty with chicken. There's something about this bread that looks like it is toasted to perfection, doesn't it? It, it looks, looks like the so best part about a grilled mm. cheese. Yeah, it has cheese and bacon and chicken and mustard sauce. And also these thick cut chips are look so delicious. This is also on their seasonal menu, so you can get it around the holiday time. Also, yes. it's called toasty. And when you put E on anything, it's way cuter. Great. Mm -hmm. The bread is like perfectly buttered. Mm -hmm. The chicken is flavorful. The mustard definitely adds to it. Like you could put any other condiment on it, but I think that mustard adds some like type of spice to it that I really like. If you don't like mustard, it's really good without it too. And the reason why I feel like this is a really good holiday um, food is because it's not like comforting. Like it's warm. Yep. It's like it's like a lot. You know, it's filling. I like it's that the it's like a very thinly fried chicken. Mm -hmm. You know, bread doesn't doesn't feel as heavy. Maybe it's like a lighter, a light toasty. I don't want to screw myself, you guys, but I have to give this a five. Wow. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this sandwich. Okay. I'm going to give it a four because I like it more than the turkey dinner. Uh -huh. But I'm saving my five for like a, uh -huh. you have to get this mm -hmm. when you come to Harry Potter World. I would rate this a three and a half. I think it's really good. You truly cannot go wrong with like a buttered bread and some cheese and bacon and chicken. Like there's nothing that can go wrong about that. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I just want to point out that the person who says she's not a dessert person just rated a non-dessert food lower than a dessert food. So maybe Ooh. you are converting. Maybe I am, maybe. Today will be the day. Finally. Okay, this right here, literally in the palm of my hand, is butterbeer fudge. This better be good. I'm not like a huge fan of fudge, but I do enjoy indulging every once in a while. Oh, and you, you only need a little bit, like this little last fudgy indulgy. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> What? Oh, should we lay in the tram? Yeah. Oh, this is the night. It's a beautiful night. I like it. Butterscotch fudge. I don't taste white chocolate. Do you? No. Because it's got like that bu buttery, caramelly taste or whatever butterscotch or butterbeer is, it kind of doesn't make it taste as much as just like straight sugar, you know? This honestly tastes like a solidified butterbeer, butter beer. Mm -hmm. which is nice. I'm going to take this one home. I'm going to give this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Butterbeer or butterbeer fudge? Butterbeer. Absolutely. Dang, no, it's too rich for me. I love I love sweets, but when it comes to like overly rich, like creamy, milky stuff, I need to like take it in small doses. I will give it a three. I'll give it a four actually, because if I think about it, it is really good. And it's the type of thing that for somebody like me who loves sugar but can't handle like so much dairy at once, I feel like this would last me a really long time. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, I know you already claimed it. It's fine. So we're gonna try a pumpkin pasty. We're on the same page here, aren't we? It looks like an empanada. Yeah. It's not warm, which I bet good. if it was, it would be better. I had the option. Ice cream from 
honeydukes, and this is the peanut butter flavor. Now, no melt is really important because it got like actually cold, like really, really cold in the last like 15 minutes. Are you ready? Yeah. It's like frozen, even though it's not real ice cream. I'm fudge. You think? I think it's just a whole thing of fudge. I'm on my way to find out. Yeah, that's just gonna literally. It tastes like if you were to leave a cupcake out overnight and then, like, it's cold outside a little bit, you know? And, like, it gets that weird, like, crust over it. Crunchy. But crunchy the inside of it's so, like, soft. Like, even just the smell of it, it smells like chocolate. Oh, yeah, it just is not good. I would like to rate this ice cream a zero. Oh. It's making oh. me feel upset on the inside. There's nothing about the holidays embodied into this design for the taste for the texture this doesn't feel like holidays at all and also it's not very water and it's just not good i'm gonna you know what you know what i'm gonna give it a one green what because this display because it's in a little martini cup yeah it's cute like i want to throw that crap out and just take my cup off. yeah, yeah i'm sorry something better in my mouth all right this one is the chocolate Trifle. We know a thing about trifles. We and do. And trifling. So my mom has always made trifles for Christmas, and that's usually like when you eat it around the holidays. And trifles have a lot of la like layers. There's usually like <laughs> yeah, name them. Lady la a layer of lady fingers, layer of jam, another yeah. layer of lady fingers, and then I think where do the peas and the <laughs> beef go? Cheers. Dark chocolate in it. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's just it doesn't have a lot of flavor, you know. This is boring to me. And yes, I'm gonna eat it because I just want to make sure I'm making an informed decision. I like I like the raspberry a lot and the cake. It's trying to figure like out what I don't like. like. I think this top layer is what I don't like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this too because I don't. It's not like yeah. disgusting. It's not exciting. I I will agree with you. I'll give it two. I was gonna give it a three, but if I'm really thinking about just how much I've enjoyed everything else that we've had, right. it's really hard to put this yeah. in the middle. Triple should have like layers of things More and layers. this is like this only has like three it's not even really a layer it's like a piece of chocolate on top of like cake and then like pudding essentially but i do like the raspberry gunk in there the raspberry Ooh, gunk's gunk is real good good job harry potter world on your gunk next we're gonna try exploding bonbons At watch where you put down one <laughs> sorry these are so cute. They're orange and pineapple flavored. They're exploding, which means that things are gonna happen when you put them in your mouth. I don't know. And they are from Fred and George's Dope Shop. Yeah. So right off the bat, these are white chocolate, and we hate white chocolate. Like, really not a fan of white I chocolate. Hate it. I just don't think anybody was asking for white chocolate. I don't know why the chocolate people made white nobody. chocolate. Nobody. Let's make white chocolate. Yeah, nobody. I was asking for it. <laughs> Bob Rock. Hey, that's not bad. Ah! 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 You never had Pop Rocks? I don't like that. Um, I hate this so much. White chocolate is disgusting. It should not exist on Earth. I just can't not like anything Harry Potter. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna be like a Voldemort if I don't give it at least one broomstick. So I'm gonna give it two. Um, yeah, so just because as soon as I saw white chocolate, I, I was sure I was gonna hate it. And the fact that I did it, I'd have to give these two broomsticks, you know? Because it, it yeah. surprised me, but it's still not that good. Could you not imagine lie. eating like all of these? Absolutely not. This is the sticky toffee pudding. Mmm. These look like um like peanut butter. Butter scotch mm. chips or something. But you know what? There's something about toffee texture that makes me really happy. Like what's the, the toffee texture? You know, yeah. like sticky kind of like yeah, like peanut brittle type of texture, like when it gets stuck in your teeth. There's something about that texture that I oh really God, that like. That's me insane. <gasps> Did you see the drippage? Wow. Uh, look who's not waiting now. Oh no. Mm. See, I like this better than the butter beer mm. for the taste, the sweetness of it. This I'm is not, so good. This is toffee? Oh, it tastes like butterscotch to me. My scarf! I think I would have to give this like a four. Honestly, it's it's, a, it's the closest to a five. Only thing I would say is like, it is extremely rich. Even for me who loves sweets. This is really good. I'm, I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna give this five room sticks. This was delicious. Yeah. This is a nice Christmassy dessert. Still, it's English. It feels like Harry Potter world because it is it so... It, yeah, so I think I'm gonna give it a four, four broomsticks, because I'm not a sweets person, 
but this I can definitely get down with. I think it's because it's in the bread and there's like cinnamon in there and the vanilla ice cream on top is really good, so I give it four from Four is a lot for someone who doesn't yeah. like sweet. Yeah, also, I, feel like, I feel like you could make something like this because you're a really good like baker type of person. A baker type person. Can you tell I don't bake? Uh, uh, uh. But anyways, Harry Potter World Universal, you guys are I think rushing it. It's great to be talking about This won't fill you up. Dude, it's yeah, so good. This is a good one. I put my stamp of broomstick all over it. Swish and flick. Alright guys, those were the best and worst holiday treats here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Guys, which dessert was better than you expected? <laughs> oh, I love very that. Very good, very good, Lauren. Um, you know what? I feel like if you're coming to Harry Potter World for the very first time, without a doubt, please just get butterbeer. I feel like everyone should try it. It's rare to find somebody who doesn't like at least enjoy it. I just happen to love it, so forever and ever until they blow my mind with something else, butterbeer will be my favorite. Yeah. I really liked the sticky toffee pudding. I'd never had it. It really surprised me. I think it was a perfect, like, sweet and yeah. savory. Yeah, because the bread. It so really good, I really like that one a lot. I gotta go with the, the toffee pudding because it was seasonal. They yeah. don't have it year round. I'm gonna get the butterbeer as well. Yeah. And honestly, I'll probably get the chicken sandwich too. I was gonna say, I mean, I would <laughs> totally <laughs> eat that cheesy chicken mustard toasty again. That was really Drink good too. Sign me up. But you know what? Those were just our favorites. So you guys, if you've been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and you've tried something else that we didn't necessarily try today because maybe it's out of season or we just didn't try because we didn't want to today, please get in the comments, change our minds because I need to try it all probably at some point. Or if there's yes. different ones in Orlando. Yes, please. Yeah, mail them to us. And should we just do a universal best and worst foods? Because there's so many other lands that we can explore oh, yes. here. So let us know. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You know what to do. All the things. All the time. Bye. Bye. Cheerio. All right, guys. If you like that, then click over here to watch more videos. And I promise I'll never use the socks today. There you go. Please click the video, okay? It's worth it. I'll get training. And then <laughs> click the subscribe button that is right down here so you get more of this us. Everything. Clicky also. <laughs>